Hey Jesus Squad, welcome back to the episode of Is It Worth It? So for the episode, this will make about right here and basically what this is, is electric food steamer that you use to steam stuff in here. But basically as you can see right here is from the brand called By Theme and it definitely is a big package. So I'm actually open up and show you guys what's actually included inside first. All right, so when you guys first open up the package and see that there's actually two different packages or two different box inside. So here is the first one right here. And then here is the second box that's included inside. And that is basically everything that's inside the package right here. So for the first one that we got right here, it looks like it is a glass stew pot holder. So I guess you guys can put stuff on here, but let me open it up and show you guys what's included inside first. All right, so when you guys first open it up, you guys see that this is basically what it looks like. They do give you guys like a useless instructor in here to teach you guys how to use it correctly. All right, so when you first open up, you can see that this is what it looks like inside. Let's take everything out and see what's included. All right, so here's the first thing that's included inside. It's real glass. You definitely want to be really careful. Here's another one. And this one is also glass as well. So you definitely want to be careful of this as well. Next part right here. This one also looks like glass as well. So I'm assuming this is the lid for the product. So I'm assuming I'm going to put it inside right here. Just like that. So that way it's actually mixed stew inside right here, which is definitely pretty cool. And then here's another one as well. So basically you have two of them. You better see, this is basically what it actually looks like. So I'm gonna put this one on the other one right here. And this is basically what the product looks like. You better see, very cool design, easy access. And then last but not least, we have that little holder. So I guess this little holder to actually hold the glass inside right here, which is definitely pretty cool. So just like this. So that's a little holder like that. And then put the other one right here. So that way you can actually keep it organized and that way it actually protects the product as well. So that's definitely really cool how to provide this right here. But this is basically what the tray looks like right here. If you can see, I believe the material that they use on here is like a plastic material. So you don't have to worry about dropping this, but you do want to make sure you don't drop the glass that I just showed you guys just now. But that is basically everything that's included in this package right here. Now let me show you the other package to show you guys what's actually included inside. All right, so right here we have actual product, which is an electric food steamer. They mentioned how the color for the product right here is a cozy green-ish. So it definitely has a very nice green color on the product. Let me actually open up and show you guys what's actually included inside first. All right, so when you guys first open up, you can see that this is basically what it looks like. They mentioned put it on the ground and take everything out to show you guys what's included inside. All right, so first thing you see inside, they do provide you guys a cable that's been used to attach it on their product to power it on. And then right next to that, you can see that they do provide us a quick starter guide to teach you guys how to use the product in terms of like the slow cook option and also the steam option. So definitely use it for like steaming, slow cook, yogurt, warm, and preset. And then for the next layer, we do have a protective layer. So let's actually move that first. All right, so once we move the protective layer, there's a bunch of stuff right underneath it, all right? So you see that that is basically what looks like inside. So there's definitely a lot of stuff inside right there. Let me put it down and take each part out. All right, so first thing inside, they do provide a non-stick ceramic plate. So you definitely use this to cook stuff inside and steam stuff on here as well. All right, so you see that this is basically what it looks like. And this is made by their own brand, by Theme right here. And this is what the friend part looks like. So you don't want to break this. So you definitely want to put it somewhere where it's safe. So I'm actually put this on the table first. But definitely when you guys feel the material of that plate, it definitely feels like a high quality plate. So you definitely want to be careful when you guys use it because it is breakable if you guys actually didn't drop it. Next thing that we have right here is a lid. Let me take off the wrapper. All right, so we take out the wrapper and see that this is basically what it looks like. So they definitely have the logo right there. And this is basically what the top part looks like. So definitely the top part here is made out of real glass. So it's not like cheap material or anything. It is a high quality material. And in terms of the grip right here, it definitely feels really nice. You definitely get good grip when you guys actually use it. And then the back part right here, they do label the back side. So that way it's no which side is front and which side is back. So the front side definitely has a logo and the back side tells you guys it's back. And this is basically what the inside looks like. If you can see, they definitely use high quality stainless steel to actually make the steamer, which is pretty awesome. So I'm actually put this on one side as well. Next thing you can see inside, they do provide an instruction box right here with a bunch of stuff right here. So I'm actually open up to show you guys what's actually included inside right here first. So this is basically what the back part looks like. Let's open it up. All right, so you see inside there's a bunch of stuff right here. So this is quality control paper. And then right here, they provide you guys some instruction manual and quick starter guide and using manual to teach you guys how to use the product and how to maintain it, etc. But that is basically everything that's included in this little box right here. So let me put this on one side first. So the last thing that's included in the package is the actual steamer right here on the bottom layer. You may actually take out the wrapper first to show you guys what it actually looks like. All right, so when you take it out, you can see that this is basically what it looks like. So it definitely has a very nice green color on here. And then right here, the display screen. And they do have a timer button right here that's in use. I believe there's some buttons underneath here, but we'll find out in a second. 
if they say they do have low plug outlet so that's where to plug the cable that they provide for you guys to generate power onto the device and here's what it looks like on this side if it definitely show you guys the max and minimum level right here in terms of the water level and this is what it looks like in the top right here so they definitely have a stainless steel trays and put stuff on here as well if you guys want to when we take out the tray you guys can see that this is basically what the tray looks like definitely looks like a high quality stainless steel material so after you have to remove the stainless steel tray right underneath that you can see there's a soft tray inside and basically what this is for is so that way when you guys are steaming your stuff all like the sauce can fall down here instead of like falling into where the water is going to be which is pretty cool but right underneath that you guys can see that this is basically what the product looks right here they do have the little ring option they did put in the middle just like that right there but let me just take this out to show you guys what the inside looks like very quick all right so you guys can see this is basically what the inside looks like so this is where you just want to put the water inside so that way actually can steam everything inside and keep it hot and keep it warm or warm stuff up if you haven't seen the line right here, they tell you guys where the maximum and minimum. So they definitely have a minimum line right here. And top part, they have two maximum lines. So if you have just slow cooking stuff, like using a stew pot option, like the glass container I showed you guys earlier, you don't want to go above that line right there that they show you guys right here. But definitely on the side right here, they do have a water inlet. So I need to add water inside. You can definitely pour on this side. We're going to pour the other side here as well. So that's actually a really cool design. So that way, if you guys don't have enough water, you can just pour on the side instead of in the middle part right here. If you guys look at the bottom part right here, this is basically what it looks like. So they definitely have the non-slip material right here to prevent the product from moving around when you guys put it onto a flat table. Let me just take off this part right here first to show you guys what's underneath it. All right, so when you peel off the sticker, you see that this is basically what it looks like. So they definitely have the display screen right here, the start and pause button, the stop button right here. Preset, warm, and menu button. So I'm assuming you guys want to press the menu button to change the different options on here. So whether you guys want to do yogurt, you guys want to do steaming, or if you guys want to do slow cooking option, you can definitely use that button to change it. And you see inside right here, they give you guys instruction on how to actually make different stuff. They actually put all them together first to show you guys what it actually looks like. And then we're gonna bring this over the countertop. So we're gonna put this back inside first. And then we're gonna put this one inside as well. All right, so that's what it looks like so far. And you guys want to put this inside right here. So if you guys want to just steam stuff, you guys put it inside right here. Otherwise, you can put the plate that I showed you guys earlier. Once you guys are done, you guys can close back up with this. And this is basically what the final product looks like once you guys have everything all set up. And the cool thing about this product you can see on the side right here, they give you guys the option to kind of use this as a handle if you guys want to carry it around as well. So not only can you guys add water inside right here, but you can definitely use the handle option to carry it around, which is pretty cute. So that is basically everything that's on the product. Let me actually bring this to countertop to show you guys how to actually use it and then we'll come back and talk more about that in a second. Alright, so we have the product all set right here and you can see from a different point of view. So we have the preset button, the warm button, menu button, start and pause button, and stop button right here as well. You adjust the timing option right here and then right here we have a plate that's included. So when you guys first get the product, you guys want to add some water inside and let it kind of steam everything inside to make sure it's clean first before you guys add anything inside. So I'm actually add some water in here and then test it out. Alright, let's pour some water in. So obviously when you guys are using the product, you don't want to pour it in right here. You guys want to pour it inside right here. But just for this test right now, since we're filling up, I want to pour the water inside right here first. Alright, so that should be good. So let's put everything back on top. And we'll put this inside as well. So that way we can steam everything inside and make sure it's clean before we actually use it. Alright, let's plug in the outlet inside right here. So you basically just want to plug in the back right here. And once I plug it in, you can see that this is basically what it looks like. So you can definitely press on the menu button to change the different options on here. So right now we're using steam, slow cook, yogurt, and go back to steam. You have a warm option and preset option if you guys want to use that as well. But for this test, I'm going to just steam it first. You guys adjust how long you guys want like this. So I'll just do 10 minutes for now. Alright, let's press on start. So obviously right now I don't have anything inside and the reason why is because when you guys first get the product, you definitely want to make sure you guys steam it first to clean everything inside. So I'll just let this do its own thing first and then come back and check on it. So you see it hasn't even been one minute yet and definitely here the steam is starting to build up already. So it definitely heats up really really fast. Alright, so you see the top part it definitely has a lot of steam or fog that's building up inside. We can't even see the inside anymore. Alright, so there's one minute left. Let's see what happens when it's done. Alright, so you can see that once it's done, it actually makes a little beep sound. So that's how you guys know when it's done. Let's open up and see what the inside looks like. Alright, so when you guys open up the lid, there's definitely going to be a lot of water. So you definitely want to be careful when you guys open it up. You guys can definitely pour the water back into the middle if you guys want to. 
But when you guys take out the tray right here or the bottom layer right here, you probably want to get a towel to actually uh, take it out. So that way it's not to worry about burning your hand or whatever. So you definitely see the product definitely does work. But I'm actually put some stuff inside now and test it out to see how it works. All right. So I just finished cleaning the product and added some new water inside. So what I'm doing right now is to heat up some of the dim sum that I have left over and show you guys how it works and when it actually works. So I'm just going to put it above this plate right here. All right, so we just put the dim sum inside, you can see right here. So let's turn it on and activate it and see how it works. So we're gonna use the steaming option and we'll probably do like 10 minutes. I think 10 minutes should be enough. So let me close back up the lid. So once we close up the lid, then we actually press the start button to activate it. I definitely love how to have a glass lid so that we can actually see the inside. But obviously when you guys are steaming the stuff or cooking stuff inside, it's gonna fog up so you can't really see it anymore until you guys open up the lid. But even right now that here, they are starting to uh, steam up already, which is definitely pretty fast. All right, so this bit, all right, so it looks like there's one minute left. All right, so it looks like it's done. Let's check it out and see how it looks like. So when you guys open up the lid, you guys want to open up immediately, but you also want to be careful to not actually pour the water in the back right here because there's three holes. So one, two, three. And you guys want to pour out all the water, but definitely see the product is done. So it definitely does work if you guys want to steam stuff on here. If you guys want to steam like your dim sum or other stuff, you can definitely do all that on here. If you guys are not ready to actually eat it, you guys can close it back up and then turn on the warm option right here and you adjust how long you guys want to keep it warm. The maximum you do on here is six hours, so it doesn't warm up any more than six hours. If you guys want to use the stew pot option, you can definitely do that as well. So you see right here, I do have the stew pot that is glass material right here. So when you guys use this pot, what you guys want to do is to take off this little ring in the middle first. So that way you can actually put it inside because if you guys have this little ring inside, it will not fit. So you just basically want to put it inside right here like this. And then you put the cover back on top. So just like that and it fits perfectly. So now you can turn on the slow cooker option right here. So do that. So once you guys go to slow cooker option right here, you guys can adjust the time based on however long you guys need. So if you want one hour, two hours, three hours, or 45 minutes or whatever, you can definitely adjust it however you guys want right here. So let's say for example, if I want to do one hour, I select one hour right here, press start and it'll slow cook the stuff inside. So obviously when you guys use a slow cooker, it'll take a lot longer because it's slow cooking the actual product inside. Whereas if you guys are doing a steam option, it's much faster. All right, so another thing that I actually noticed about the product is the fact that if you guys open up this part right here, you guys can actually let the steam come out. Same thing for other side as well. So that's actually really cool if you guys want to get the option to let out the steam. Otherwise, then just keep it closed like this and I'll keep all the steam inside. So that's definitely a really cool feature that's built on the product. All right, welcome back guys. So now you guys have a quick test on the product and definitely see it actually does work and works quite well. Super easy to use, if you guys can see from the test. You can definitely do a lot of stuff on here. So what do you guys want to steam stuff? If you guys want to slow cook stuff, you can definitely do all of that on here. But I definitely love the option how they give you guys everything on here in terms of the stainless steel trays or the ceramic plate. So if you guys want to cook fish on here or if you guys want to slow cook stuff using that glass container that they provide you guys, the two glass containers, you can definitely slow cook stuff on here to make stew or whatever, which is pretty awesome. And just the overall design and the look of the product looks pretty awesome and super cute. Especially if you guys like the color green, this actually looks very, very cute. So now that we're unboxing and testing the product, now to answer the question of whether or not it's actually worth it or not. So for this product in particular, I would definitely have to say that it is super worth it if you guys want more than these warranties. Especially if you guys are trying to look for a high quality uh, food steamer that you can use to cook like your food, your fish, your eggs, or rice, or even slow cook stuff like I mentioned. You can definitely do all of that on here. So I would definitely have to say that it's super worth it. But then obviously for those of you guys who don't want or don't need one or have just one of these, then obviously don't buy one and save the money for something else that you actually do need. So that's basically everything for this video itself. If you guys like this video, make sure to smash that like button in the bottom. That will definitely help this video out. And it will definitely help with the algorithm as well to promote more videos for you guys so you guys can see more of the videos or similar videos as well. But as always, make sure to stay positive, be you, and I'll see you guys in the next episode of Is It Worth It? Peace.